Welcome back to the Beard Time 16. Hey, welcome back. Oi! Right, a massive thank you to Peter from The Small Shed for putting that little intro together at the beginning. And the other guy, the dodgy guy that broke into my workshop, is, uh, is Andy. <laughs> you would know him as A.H. Bespoke. So, but what I'm going to get Andy to do now is put his own sticker on my board, which no one's ever done before. So, there you go, Andy. I'm honoured. I'm honoured. Yeah, you're honoured. <laughs> there we go. And give him the thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> Epic. Right. Right, so I've got a couple more. Um, this is JR Wood and Metal. Let's pop you on. Um, pop you there. Thanks, JR Wood and Metal. And this is the Wonky Workshop. I'll leave uh, links to these guys in the description below and Andy, of course. Come on, I really gotta grow my nails. Thanks, wonky workshop. <laughs> so, slight change of plan. This, what you're gonna see next, is not gonna be the clock that we, um, that I did say it was gonna be. We just had too much uh, stuff going on um, to get me and Thomas together in the same um, same time to, to get our collaboration done so that's going to be next week which gives me a little bit more time to work on it so enjoy the video and I'll, uh, I'll see you at the end so this um, this particular pen I've made the HDP in two part epoxy I've done the silver foil two part epoxy um, yeah so I thought I'd go a little bit uh, Think about the box here and go with something like that. I like this colour. These are um, copper squares. Oh, I didn't realise they're real copper. Are they copper? Real copper? No, surely that's too strong. Right. Oh, let's turn that light down because it's bleaching it out, I think. Right, there you go. That's better. So, what I'm going to do is. Oh, I'm going to mix some two part epoxy. And I'm going to wedge this in there. Um, let's see what happens. I think it's going to look quite nice, actually. Just wedge it in like that, on top of the two-part epoxy. Yes, that's going to look epic. <laughs> right then, let's get the epoxy. Two-part epoxy, not epoxy. Right, so what I wanted to do is use... Um, Gorilla Glue, the five minute set uh, two part epoxy, but Gorilla Glue only sent me one of these. They sent me loads of other glue, but only one of these. Um, so I'm gonna have to get back in touch and say, Look, I want to do some pens with using only your, your glue. So just for this project, I'm gonna go back to the cheapy stuff uh, for the pan shop. So what I've got to do is, it takes three of these to make a pen. So I'm going to mix all this up now, um, and then we're going to try and wedge it in. I don't know. We'll see what happens. What I what I like the idea is is when I'm making these two part epoxy pens, I love the the fact that there's tiny little bubbles in there as well. Um, yeah, if I had a pressure pot, I could get them out, but I, I don't think I would. I think I'd leave them in because it gives it this really nice effect I, that I like. Um, but anyway, I think that'll be enough of that in there. Yeah, good.
Right, so I'm uh, I'm happy with the way this uh, this blank's turned out. I have sanded it a little bit, just so you can kind of see what I've envisioned. You have to excuse me today. I woke up with a, a bit of a um, a bug, um, <clears throat> so I might be coughing and stuff. So anyway, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to mark it um, and then cut it in half, and then glue the the brass tubes in. Yeah, I'm happy. What I'm doing is some, uh, just leaving myself a little bit over. Not a lot though. So I reckon there. Oh, oh sniffles. Right, let's see how this ends up. <coughs> so I'm not entirely sure how this um, this stuff is going to cut. So I'm going to clamp it. <laughs> I know how the resin cuts, but I'm not entirely sure how the... Um, The wire stuff, uh, the Brillo stuff that I've put inside, it may snag, I'm not sure, but we'll see, won't we? Okay, so that's. Okay, let's go for it. the inside and we just got to um, put the tubes in <laughs> not bad at all okay Right, so I've scuffed them up, otherwise the glue won't stick. Um, now I'm using the uh, Gorilla Super Glue Gel. I've not tried this stuff before, but Gorilla sent it to me, so I'll give it a shot. Um, I have got Activator as well, which I might try, give that a blast. Actually no, I won't, I use, I use this on its own. It's very thick. It's really thick. I like it. That's in. I'll uh, I'll be sticking the barrel trimmer in that in a bit anyway. I'm wondering what this will be like as a finish. I might try this really thick. I know it's best to use thinner stuff really, but I'm interested to see what that's like as a finish. Right, so there you go. It's, it's quite good stuff. Okay, let's leave that now to dry. 
I'm not going to use the, uh, the activator. I want to see what this is like without activator. See how long it takes to go off. Here we go. I usually do this in the pillar drill, but there's really no need as long as you just pay attention to the brass. Just there. there go. A little bit more. There we go. There's the brass. the brass. What I'm going to do is I'm going to knock these edges off on the sander. I'm not going to record it because all I'm going to do is just push it up against the sander and, and just make it a little bit more round. Right, we're all set for turning. I just want to show you what I've done here. I've got a workshop vac, or workshop vac, what, vacs, whatever you, whatever you call them. Oh, not the stick. Um, and I've literally put the end on. I mean, this normally would be that way round, and it'd be sucking up stuff as a normal vacuum it would. But I thought if I do it this way then I can kind of um, suck all the the harmful dust that resin um, and some hardwoods produce I mean it is pretty nasty stuff sometimes see I just have it about there and then tighten it down like so Oh wow. <laughs> That's turned out uh, quite nice actually. I did notice there's a little bit of a. Ah, there it is. Tiny little void there that I need to just sand out. Other than that, it looks really nice. I do some close up still so um, you can see what I'm seeing. Right, a little bit of sand in there, and then uh, we'll give it another buff. Okay, sorted. Okay, I'm happy with that. Right, let's take it off. I think I might need to get some ear protection purely for my bleeding workshop vac it's so loud right so I want this to be the the front the uh, the business end of the pen
Right, let's assemble this sucker now. What I've done is because it is a, uh, a copper Brillo, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a what's left of a copper pen kit. Now, anyone that does pens, makes pens, uh, sometimes you do, I'll show you. Anyway, um, yeah, sometimes you, when you put in the, um, the brass tubes in, things happen. I mean, they break on the lathe, you know, the, 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 pen, the actual blank itself, or you don't like it. So you end up now and again with spare kits with no brass tubes. So this is one of those kits. I'm gonna use this and it's turned out quite well, actually. I'm, gl I'm glad it's brass. Um, I'm just going to assemble it. Please excuse my sniffling. We go down the shop in a minute and buy a load of citric fruits to try and shift this. Okay, so we've got our mechanism. Can you see that? No, you can't. So, got a mechanism, our ink insert. That's the clip, that's the, um, yeah, clip. Oh, hang on, what are we missing? See, it's good to do this before you do it, before you assemble it. So that goes like that, but there's a bit for the middle missing. Oh, what a bleed now. Right, so it turns out that all the parts for this, um, this nice brass, uh, copper kit are not there. Uh, before I pushed it all in, I realized that the center part, which is this part here, is missing. So that's a shame, we can't use the copper. But we've got gold, so we'll use that. Um, all the bits are there. Let's push it together. So that I want that as the writing end. So we've got to put the nib on. Space on my memory stick for the for the uh, the GoPro. I I film this, so I was at the stage where I was just checking the mechanism to see if it was out far enough. Um, and sometimes, if you push these mechanisms in past the line, you end up with the the ball point sticking out a little bit, which we don't want. That is lovely. You can't see it. You can see if you look down there, but you can't feel anything. Um, so the little separator goes on next there that seems to fit okay next step is the cap that goes on the top oh 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 I've not got enough Oh, I thought I chipped it then. <laughs> right, I don't like that. I don't like the way that is sticking up, if you look at that. Now, this isn't the pen kit by any means. This is the way I've shaped the top of the, um, the pen itself. I should have flattened it, really. Oh... Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and tap that back out. I'm going to try and tap that out. Okay, right. <coughs> Coming off. Okay. Right, we got it off. Brilliant. Oh God. I can 
leave it off, to be honest. I can do that. Did it look good? Mm. No. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it back on the lathe and I'm just going to take some more of that off. I'm not going to film it, but uh, I'll be a couple of minutes. Right, so <laughs> off camera I've just been and, um, and turned this down. I really wasn't happy with the way it was... Um, that was kind of sticking up in the air, so I'm hoping... Yeah, that's better. Right, let's whack this in. some stills in a minute I like it you can actually see that this this copper stuff it's not real copper it's just the color of copper because when you cut through it, it is actually steel color let's try and focus on that Right, no. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get my phone camera because my phone camera takes wicked um, stills. But there you go. I love it. As always, um, I'll leave links to the guys that I've mentioned, uh, including Andy uh, from AH Bespoke. Uh, yeah, I'll leave links for everyone. The pens turned out really nice. I'm happy with it. I'm going to give it a little bit of a buff now and find somewhere to take some uh, some nice photos uh, for the end of the video. Uh, massive thanks to all the new subscribers that have come along. I think I'm at uh, 1,029, I think, somewhere like that, which, <laughs> which is brilliant. I love it. Um, and I'll see you in the next video, along with Thomas, for the collaboration. Uh, please head over and check Thomas out. He's he's not got any footage up yet. He's he's not got any videos up yet, but he will have when we do the collaboration. Um, so yeah, check him out. Um, give him some support. He's uh, he's so proud of his dad for um, doing these YouTube videos, um, and he, he wants to be a part of it. So right, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.